Hello friends, I am going to show you how we sleep 9 kids and 2 parents, that's 11 people in all, in our 30 foot Airstream. We have the Flying Cloud 30 foot front bedroom bunk model, which I think is the best model for families, especially big families like ours. We put a crib in our Airstream because we have a 5 month old baby. This crib is the Alma Bloom Mini Crib. It is 19.5 inches wide and between the bed and the middle of the wall in the front bedroom, we have 19 and a half inches of space. So I thought this crib would be perfect. But I forgot that an Airstream is curved and so on the floor we only have 19 and a quarter inches between the bed and the wall. So Mark, my smart husband, put a 19 and a quarter inch wide platform under the crib so we could raise the bed past the narrow part on the bottom of the Airstream. This platform is about 12 inches high. Mark had to saw the bottom legs off of the crib so that the top of the crib would not be higher than the window latches which would keep the crib from fitting. A bit of a pain, but if you have a baby, you know how important it is for that baby to have a happy place to sleep because a miserable, tired baby can pretty much ruin any vacation. Melody slept fantastically in her little crib. I'll leave a link below so you can find the crib yourself if you're interested. And also, the curtains on the wall are blackout curtains from Crate and Kids because we couldn't put the roller shades down because the crib was in the way. As you can see, I am a total insomniac. My whole family is sleeping and I am walking around with a video camera. So my super sweet husband volunteered to sleep on one of our RAI sleeping mats. I'll leave a link below for that as well. So he can um, man the children in the morning because I am up a lot of the night nursing the baby and so forth. Our other son also sleeps on one of our REI roll-up mats. You can see that two men over six feet can fit in the walkway, which is pretty cool. I'm a big fan of cotton, so I bought a cotton cocoon sheet from REI and some cotton blankets from Crate and Barrel. This allows them to be comfy, but not too hot. The next youngest kids share a bed that also serves as a table. They are seven, five, and two years old. I also got them cotton sleeping bags from Creighton Kids because the last vacation we went on, I had the girls in those slithery satin polyester sleeping bags and they kept sliding out of bed. <laughs> Needless to say, that didn't help me get a lot of sleep, so I would say cotton is definitely worth it. Up top is a bunk that only fits up to 150 pounds so our super fast metabolism 13 year old boy sleeps up there and below our 15 year old girl and her 10 year old sister share a bed our eight year old son sleeps on this couch bed and it fits him perfectly in the morning we pack everything up and roll up the mats and sleeping bags and the table becomes a table again. We can eat breakfast inside or outside. Yes, it is squishy, but the whole point of an RV is that you can get to see the world. It's better than a tent because everyone can enjoy the heat or AC if you are connected to shore power and you have the option to stay in an RV park instead of a campsite. Campsites are awesome, but sometimes they are located in some pretty remote areas. RV parks are usually in the middle of whatever city you want to visit. So really the situation gives you options. And unlike a hotel, you have your own stove and fridge, which allows you to eat in instead of going out to eat. Going out to eat for our family usually costs about $100 or more, so eating in is a huge money saver. When we're all done sleeping, the beds double as play spots for the whole family, which is the whole reason to go on a trip, right? The family that plays and prays together stays together. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, wherever you go, be all there. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye for now, and see you next time. So we're heading up San Francisco. It is 
58. <laughs> so we probably have another six hours of driving. You excited, kids? Yeah! Uh, yeah, a lot. We're very. But we're gonna get there like one, two, three. 